Hi friends, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. I am also good. So friends, in this video, we are going to see about uh, Ratan India Power Limited, right? So I think after a very long time here, I think we are seeing about this company again. We exceeded a long time back in this company, but still many of our friends wants to update regarding this company. So here an update regarding this company we see this company was trading in the range of almost five six rupees seven rupees and eight rupees i think maximum it reached up to nine rupees we gave an exit call at nine or eight depending upon the investors restricting ability now what has basically happened here is that uh, the share price have been plummeted to a greater level extent it has been a very important point of time right now because what the decisions the management has taken today will definitely positively impact this company and how I'm saying is that friends I was just going through all this data so that I could able to speak to you now what has basically happened is that we know this Aditya Brilla arc limited and ARC limited right so first of all on May 16th what has happened is that has amended I mean the due date has been amended uh, from I think uh, uh, I think May 15 till 31st May 2023 leading to a modification rate of redemption for the balance outstanding to 31st May 2023 right and the outstanding payable stands at almost 661 crores now they have amended this day to 31st May now May month is going to end right that's why the company has given a beautiful news one news is that friends if you have seen this quarter uh, I think quarter 4 result of this company you have, you, you have noticed this point company is in the process that is Ratan Power Limited is in the process of refinancing a secured debt with one of the leading domestic private sector bank okay transaction is expected to close in Q4 in Q1 FI24 so Ratan India Power is saying or Ratan Power is saying is that they want to refinance in their secured debt with the domestic private sector bank leading domestic private sector bank so now what has company done today is that the company has approved May 30 that is today it has approved principally raising funds of utmost up to 1125 crores okay it can be the terms of rupee term loan by way of issuance of rate at unlisted secured renewal any kind of differences in one or more series so simply put in a stake the company is in the range the company is in the range of raising almost 1125 crores by way of rupee term loan through a bank i believe through a bank because if you can see here the company has given here refinancing of secured debt is one of the leading private sector banks and one more thing here is that the outstanding secured external debt stands at 1213 crores now if you put all these lots together now you could have see this news this nrc date was extended till 31st may right and what has happened when i see this q4 result what has happened here is that uh, their company is speaking about the refinancing which means quarter of one fi24 that is this is this year right and now the company is saying here that they want to principal raising funds of almost 1125 crores so if you connect all these points if this private sector thing is going to get successful if this fundraising is going to be successful we can expect a rally in this company in the days going by but that rally i believe would be a short term rally not a continuous rally the one and only thing what is two, two things i think spending is that completion of the, all the debt obligations and second thing is that on a consolidated level basis the company should turn profitable during our tenure of covering this stock i think uh, once or twice this company posted a profit on a consolidated level but after that there has been uh, some hiccups and downs in this ratan power india power limited i mean ratan india power limited right and this news i think will positively impact the share price in the days going by Thank you friends and bye. And one, one more thing friends, this is not a buying recommendation video. It is just an updation of the shares so that our friends could know better about this company. Thank you friends and bye.